Right, guys. I need to run here. All right. By the way, by the way, if you don't want to see this run or hear it, then please skip. Don't watch the video. Thanks. As y'all know, I'm a massive United fan. Uh, if you remember from my video back in November, I was at, at Old Trafford. And of course, that's Manchester United. Uh, anyways. This is my message. To those fans who think Eric Ten Hag should be sacked as our manager. What are you doing with your life? What are you doing? With your life, man. Because, see when a club are doing terrible, it's not always the coach to blame. And that goes for other sports as well, especially NFL, all them, them sort of stuff. You know, but we're, anyways, we're going to focus on football, our football, of course. But yeah, if you think Eric Ten Hag should be sacked, you've been li living under a rock, probably. Eric Ten Hag doesn't deserve all the blame. It's our defence that deserves the blame as well. And even at that, it's not always... Uh, Andre Onana to blame not always him he's not it seems like he's always the centre centre of, the ten, of attention when we're not playing well <coughs> say when we lose or he concedes a goal for example <coughs> he's always the centre of attention it's not just his fault now I'm not stand up for him well I kind of am but I I of course, I don't. <coughs> I I think he's a horrible goalkeeper, really. But whenever you're blaming the goal uh, the goalkeeper, it's not just his fault. It's the defense fault as well that he also concedes the goal. So it's not just his fault that that happens. Nor is it Eric Ten Hag's fault. This example has been played at Liverpool as well. You see that Jurgen Klopp last season, he was doing horrible at Liverpool. And in the 2021, the 2020 season, you know, 2020-21 season, they, they also did horrible. However, the next season, they went on a rebuild. Gotten, you think, he got them to second place. Uh, and then, well, well, he nearly won the league. Could have won a quadruple, for example. He's got some of the best players in the world. Best, in, the best uh, flipping, you know, you got Trent Alexander-Arnold, some, some players back there, like, seriously, some great defenders, especially, he had there. So he did. And he did that, he did that all in a rebuild season. Got into a Champions League final. Won an FA Cup. Won a Carabao Cup. And nearly, nearly won the Champions League. So he did. And he's doing the same this season. So he is. He's doing the complete same stuff this season as he did in the 2022 season. So he is. Think of Eric Ten Hag last season. He got us the third. So he did. We finished third in the league. If we hadn't had a manager like him, we possibly would have been like Chelsea right now. No discrim discrimination to Chelsea fans here, but... Yeah, you, you guys are not doing too great at the moment, as you know. But, yeah. We would have been like Chelsea. So we would have. 
we would have been, let's say, well, we kind of are mid-table mandems, but we're not, we're playing a little bit better now, as do we know. This is, this guy has been classed as the best manager we've had since Sir Alex Ferguson. He's won trophy. He's he's won trophies. Last season, he got, he got us the third. Uh, was runner up in the FA Cup. Mm, FA Cup, yes. Yep, you remember that rightly. He was also he also won the Carabao Cup. Now I know that's a money competition, but. Again, he's winning trophies. That's winning trophies. <clears throat> this man can take us anywhere. You never know where we can be by the end of the season. You never know what's going to happen before the end of the season. It's March right now, and the season ends basically in two and a half months. We still have two months to spare for this season. And we could get top four. And again, take an example from other clubs as well. Real Madrid in the 2021 season. They went trophyless and went on a rebuild next season, won the Champions League. And I think they won the, won the La Liga too. So we did. So no, don't be going on saying, Ten high out. Or, he ATH out. That is nonsense. If you're saying that, stay on social media. Stay on social media. That's what I'm going to say. Stay on social media. You are not really an IF fan. If you're going on saying that, so you are. Anyways, that's all I've got to say. But yeah, goodbye.